Hello guys, welcome in the next movie. Today I will show you how to repair the motor used in the Bultaco Blink motorbike. Uh, this motorbike is using crystallite motor. Here you can see the cover on the drive side. I already disassembled this motor so I can go quickly through the parts. Here is the rotor. And now I will show you the rim of the stator. So, I will go quickly through the parts and then I will explain you what I will be doing here. You may wonder what is the problem with the motor. Basically it stops whenever you are turning the throttle. It doesn't work, doesn't rotate. I was in contact with Crystallite, asking about potential uh, problems and identify problems with whole sensors, most probably. So what are the whole sensors? Uh, these are the speed sensors, you can call them, or read sensors. Uh, basically, they're measuring uh, or giving the signal impulse to the controller whenever they match the magnet or there is like a change in the magnetic field so they are sending impulse to controller and on, based on this uh, controller knows what is the rotation speed and the position of the rotor against the stator so as you can see there are three sensors these ones here, I hope you can see it better. They're very small, so it's difficult to get f proper focus. And this one, this one, this one. This looks for me like a temperature probe. You can see it better now. Maybe not. Anyway, I get from Crystallite new sensors. I don't have proper tools in order, uh, to investigate which one is defective. So I will just replace all of them. Not take any chance. I don't want to put back everything again and see that something still doesn't work. So I will just replace all the sensors, the new ones. And this will give me guarantee that motor should work after that. As you can see, I have removed uh, whole sensors from the slots. You can see them here, here, and here. So these are the tiny recesses made in these metal tabs for the electromagnets. On the way in this position. This three, as you can see, the third one I already rip off <laughs> the sensor itself, so the cable is, is left. So I removed the old glue, and now I will have to solder these new sensors to the cabling, and then I will just put them in slots. Yeah. And that should be all actually for this repair, I hope. So let's go ahead then with soldering work. You can see new uh, whole sensors soldered in place to the existing cables. Here is the cut line. Yeah. So now I can uh, put this isolation sleeves, heat shrink them, and then I'll put these uh, tips of uh, the sensors in the respective slots and then I just need to secure them to this uh, metal disc and glue cables so there won't be any rubbing during motor operation. As you can see on the electromagnets there is a lot of rust on the surface of these uh, plates. So I'll use this uh, Dremel tool, this rotary brush, 
just to remove everything. I will do the same thing with the stator. I already started cleaning this. Here is the polished surface and here is the rusted one. Okay, whole sense of separation is finished. I secured the cables with the hot glue and zip ties. So now I can put all these elements back together. When I was disassembling all uh, the parts I noticed there was no gasket on the covers, edges here. So as a precaution to make it a little bit more watertight I applied some uh, PTFA uh, paste on both covers all around. It's not rubber gasket, but it will prevent uh, some water coming into the compartment. Uh, here you can see all the magnets cleaned up. This rotary brush. So now I can put this rotor inside here. I need to be very careful because the magnets are very strong, so I don't want to get my fingers caught <laughs> and crushed by the force so that's why I will not film it I need both hands free here you can see motor core in place as I expected the attraction magnetic attraction force was really strong <laughs> just slightly and instantly inside the rim so that's why it's important to always be extra careful when you're doing this, not get distracted by anything. And now I can put the cover and screw everything together. Okay folks, motor is fully assembled, as you can see. Brake disc is mounted. So I'll show you this bike finally. I should do this at the beginning, but no, it doesn't really matter when I'll show it. So here it is. It's Bultaka Brinko model. Here you can see the battery. <laughs> Looks like a petrol can. <laughs> cool design. Yeah. So I'll put the motor now connect uh, cabling and I'll see if this machine works. Okay, you can see the whole motorbike, the motor in place and the battery. So, show you how it operates now. System is turned on. There are different modes for speed. Maybe I will do a movie showing how it rides. And that's how it operates. Yeah, it's powerful. Around two kilowatts. Okay, I will take it on the street and see how it goes. Okay guys, short summary. I took this bike for a ride. I was reaching around 55-60 km per hour. So it's not bad, it's quite fast machine. Uh, what I don't like with it, it doesn't uh, come with a uh, pass, it's pedal assist sensor. So you can operate it only with the throttle. Uh, for me it's a disadvantage, I prefer actually to have like torque sensor per, uh, like in CYC motors, so you have like you can choose how you want to ride the bike. Uh, it can be like motorcycle or uh, mountain bike, EMTB. But in general, this is very good machine, solid one, uh, very sturdy. Uh, made for a very hard terrain. So if you want to buy one, I can recommend it. It's not bad. Okay, that's all from my side. I hope this movie was interesting for you. 
enjoy the season and see you in the next movie then bye bye